Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is World of Tanks winner. And he's in his T-54. This is a tier 9 game on Empire's border. And he is heading off towards the village to start with. Um, he is running some <laughs> a lot of premium gear, actually. Uh, the extra combat rations, large first aid kit, and repair kit. Um, and actually a fair amount of heat. But I mean, he is in the 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 T54, classically nicknamed the Heat 54. So, yeah, there there is that. Um, I've never actually been up here on this map, so this should be an interesting bit to, to do. I've actually only played this map once, and um, we rushed down the middle with some auto orders and just gutted the enemy. Um, it's most of that game is somewhere in one of my uh, bonus clips. <laughs> it was a it was a fun game, but anyways, ooh, good shot to start off the game. Um, the RE two five one isn't gonna have very good old advantages as as trying to press us. His only real advantage would be to if he kept his speed and be able to fly past us and spin us around, kind of thing. Um, he didn't do that, obviously. So now he is more or less at our mercy. Um, as long as we don't flub shots, that is going to be a key aspect here, not flubbing shots. And also, there's no point in shooting into the side of a guard when he's doing that. Um, because his tracks, if his tracks absorb it, which I mean, they have a decent chance to, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> It looks like the R RU has gotten out of here. He has decided it's not worth his time to sit around here anymore. And the guard. Ooh. Ha <laughs> We bounced the return shot and we were able to get one. Cool. Well done. Wow. Me and talking right now. We were able to put a solid one into him and then again into his tracks. Unfortunately, the one that would have finished him off did not go in. And now we are in a bit of an issue. Going for the tracking shot there doesn't make it. It's going to switch over to heat. Uh, at this point in time, like there's there's no reason not to use gold in this position. You are outnumbered, and they are definitely going to kill you before they bother with the tank destroyers behind you. Oh, unfortunately, snapped that shot off just a little too late, and the RU actually gets one into us in the meantime. Gun depression on this thing me leaves some things to be desired. And he puts a heat into the RU. Um, there's no real... like I'm not going to go off on him for using heat against the RU. There's no point in trying to switch back and forth to select targets um, on the fly like this. It's just going to get you into trouble. I mean, if you have the mental resources to do it, great, do it. But for the most part, it's just not worth it. But he is switching back to AP now that he doesn't need the H or the heat anymore, which is really great. And I love the ram kill uh, because the ram kill uh, ends the threat of the RU immediately. Unfortunately, it does drop us really low in health, though. Oh, Tiger Two is not paying attention. Good job, Tiger Two. We're gonna get a second shot in here before he starts paying attention. But um, unless he's yeah, like. <laughs> he can pay attention all he wants to. He's going to shoot us <laughs> on the top of the turret. It ain't going to matter any. And there we go. As we finish him off for our third kill. And now we got to get back to base in a hurry. Um, and since there's nothing left on this side of the map, we're just going to speed this up. Because um, the only place he can go is back to base if he wants to win this game. Um, he's got to stop and he's got to defend the base. Yeah. A snapshot on the move doesn't hit it. I mean, he's just got to get back to base. Forget about the free shots you're gonna have. Um, that would have been a free shot had you been paying attention. Oh no, he snaps and misses it. There's two guys on the, the friendly base. He's got to kill the scorpion before he can continue onto the friendly base. No, you don't have time to sit around. Yeah, that's the problem. He's getting shot from up there and he's still looking at that AMX oh. 
There's the T-34. T-34 flubs the shot, and he takes him down. Good job. Unfortunately, he gets tracked. And now he's going to be switching over to heat just because it, it's, it's going to be what happens. There it is. There it is. Whew. Okay, you can slow it down now. You've reset the cap completely. Now you just got to not die. So hopefully this guy doesn't start firing HE. Because as long as he doesn't fire HE, you pretty much got this. Oh! And Artie comes in to tag him and take the pressure off. <laughs> right? Oh. Starting to wonder there. Okay, so there's only two tanks left. It's just going to be a bit of a mop up from now. Um, I just... I always wonder if in, in situations like that, for me, every time I'm in a situation like that, the other guy decides to start going HE and just blows me all to kingdom come over a few shots. Um, and so now, as long as we stick together and we take them out one at a time, I mean, I don't foresee any problems. Uh, oh, the only thing we have loaded at this point in time is the gold ammo because of the fact that that's just the only thing left in the tank that is an HE. Um, we're going to speed up because, I mean, there's no point hanging around when we know where the enemy is. We just got to get there. Uh, e ELC 90 is looking like he doesn't want to go in first all by himself, and I love that. Unfortunately, the Carnarvon is not going to be here quite at the same time as we go in. And Artie, Artie may have a shot. He may not. I don't actually know. Um... The Conqueror is apparently heading back to base. And this AMX is around here somewhere. But I mean, we gotta be careful when we find him because obviously if we find him and he's, he, if he gets to jump on us, that would be bad to say the least. <laughs> um, most likely the AMX is heading back. Holy smokes, the Conqueror's almost full health. Uh, well, see, about this, he's going to have to use all the tricks he's got. Well, that was the first trick. He used the ELC for a second. Unfortunately, the ELC didn't even get a shot out, uh, which I'm really sad about. And you cannot you cannot engage the Conqueror here. Um, yeah, you, you just got to go. Uh, do not engage the Conqueror here. Okay, good. Uh, so he's just keeping an eye out for the AMX, which he really does need to be doing. But if he engage, of course, he if he engages the Conqueror in this situation, all the Conqueror is going to do is come up, crest, you know, poke over the rise, and that's going to be the end of that. The AMX is over there. Oh. Well, the artillery does a great job and gets a shot off. Unfortunately, we flub the shot, and the artillery rams him for a little bit more damage, but. Nothing. Oh, he he bounced an HE shell. Okay, well the Carnarvon got him at least. Unfortunately, the Conqueror got the Carnarvon. We do track the Conqueror though. Unfortunately, his ooh he does not fire. <laughs> the fact that he was tracked meant he couldn't get his gun on target, and we do get away. Do not hit anything. If you hit anything, you die. Do not hit anything in this situation. Um. He's got to get to a point where he can uh, fight the Conqueror. Basically, he's just gonna—he's gonna have to uh, use his spotting distance and out spot the Conqueror. Shoot him a couple times, leave. Shoot him a couple times, leave. Kind of thing. Um, he's, you're gonna have to go that, uh, that way. You, you <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the way you're gonna have to go. There's no way you would have made it the other way. As long as the Conqueror didn't come straight down here, you should be okay. Um. And you can't get there. There's no point going over there. You just gotta go this way. I mean, there isn't any other thing to do. Um, and I, I hope you don't get spotted at some point in time. Um, it might be worth using these bushes. And you could probably, if you hunker down behind them, you could probably um, spot them and shoot them a few times. Through, do, use a double bush mechanic to shoot him a couple times as he came down there and that might do it because um, of course we left him on what 1200 health 1100 health something like that so that would be 
That's four shells you need to put into them. Uh, it's going to be a little close. Um, so obviously, World Tanks winner is decided against that plan. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand why. He does need to win this. <laughs> I mean, he needs to win this duel to win the game, right? Um, okay, well, now we're hunting Conquer. Who's hunting us? We're no longer in escape mode, and now we're in hunting mode. Because most likely we're going to come up on the back end of this guy. Unless he's really good and he's sitting here waiting for us somewhere. Um, if he's really good, he's going to be camping on his near his cap uh, in a great aggressive or a great defensive position where he can see a bunch of different directions, and he's just going to kill us when we round this corner. Oh, bother! Why do they have to be good? This is this is going to yeah yeah. Well played to the Conqueror. Um, that was exactly what the Conqueror needed to do, by the way. Um, the only way I think that uh, Winner could have played this better um, was at the end. Uh, if he had gone straight across to over here. Um, because most likely the area that, that the Conqueror would have been in was somewhere back here if he was guarding his base. And if we just zipped across, the spotting mechanics wouldn't have picked us up until we were most of the way across. And then he could have used these rocks um, to skirmish from, right? To side scrape and, and whatnot. Um, it wouldn't have been great because, of course, there's this rise right before the cap. So the Conqueror could have just poked his head up there. And been shooting over it, but it would have given us a little bit of a of a chance versus this. This situation has death written all over it. That was a great game winner. Um, you you did so well. Uh, I don't think I would have done this well. I'm I'm pretty sure I would have taken the stand over here, using this bush to shoot him as he came down this long stretch. But, if, I mean, obviously he wouldn't have come down that long stretch because he was going to park up there. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, th this was an epic game. <laughs> Unfortunately, not quite the ending you would have liked. I get that. Still, let's go see what he won. So that was an ace tanker. He also got a bruiser, duelist, fire. Fire for effect. Four bonds. And a heck of a lot of credits. Um... He got the defender, obviously, because he saved that game, and the high caliber. Unfortunately, he also lost. It's weird. I don't see many games once you get defenders and you lose. Most of the time when you get a defender, you win the game because, you know, you blew away the last two guys who are on the cap and just, um, and about, about to win. Uh, it's also kind of funny that that ELC was the second top damage on the team. And against the Conquer, he just couldn't do anything. Um, I guess it just it worked out perfectly for the Conquer, the way they spotted each other. But, um, it's just unfortunate that the ELC didn't get a shot or two off. Because even one shot off would have changed the balance of that, that last encounter significantly. Assuming it penned, of course. Um... But props to the artillery and the, the ELC in that game. They really held their own. Um, the fact the rest of our team did flop all is just unfortunate. <laughs> right? I mean, there are some awesome tanks in here that just didn't do anything. Also, anytime you get more experience than almost the entire enemy team on a loss, you have done something right. Well done, sir. Unfortunately, he only made a little bit of money because of the fact that he fired so much of his gold. You know, because he was carrying it all around with him. <laughs> he didn't use any of his, um... No, he did use one of his consumables, two of his consumables. But I guess he bought them in bulk and didn't have to buy them now. Probably bought them in bulk last time they were on sale for half off. Which I recommend doing, by the way. I spend about a million credits every time things go half off consumables 
Okay, so thank you all for watching. This was a great game. Thank you so much, Winner, for saying it in, and I can't wait to see your next one, sir. And um, we'll see you all next time. This is IOE Threat.